So the JJK257 leaks are here and whole we have a lot to talk about, but this is such an amazing chapter by Gage. They are cooking up a legendary run right now. Two long-held theories are confirmed in this chapter, and it's just insane. Let's go ahead and get into it. This chapter starts off strong with the flashback of Sukuna and Uraume talking about Yuji and his incredible strength. Sukuna reveals that when he was in the womb, he ate his twin brother so as not to starve to death, and that soul reincarnated as Jin Itadori, whom then got with Kenjaku, creating Yuji. Oh man, and bang, right off the back. Well, not entirely the twin theory that we all thought, it's still pretty close, and it's incredible to finally get some validation. So Sukuna's really out here just hating on his nephew, and the one and only Jin is actually the reincarnated twin. These are still rough translations, but as of right now, that seems to be what's going on, so let's keep going. Uraume wonders if Yuji has the same potential as Sukuna, and we cut back to the fight. And Yuji right away hits Sukuna with two black flashes back to back. Yuji gets pushed back and we see him grab onto a pillar and as he does so we see a strange scissor symbol and the narrator explains that he has two techniques within him, blood manipulation and shrine. And there it is, the second theory that the fandom has long thought to be true, confirmed by the narrator. The chapter could have ended right here now and I would have been fine but Gege keeps it going. King is absolutely annoyed, so he goes to stomp Yuji, but Yuji does the cutting technique on Sukuna's leg, forcing Sukuna to send slashes at Yuji, who just walks it off and hits Sukuna with another black flash. This is the point that Sukuna realizes that Yuji has the same technique, but it's a little different due to their personalities and qualities as people. He thinks that that's ridiculous, and we learn that his output of CT is super low. Things are getting spicy for the king. We get a tiny flashback of Eno getting permission to use Nanami's curse tool, and Gojo grants it to him. RIP Gojo, these flashbacks really be hidden in the fills. Also, there is a lot of Eno love in this chapter, so let's keep going. Eno then joins the battle, and we finally see his last beast. It's a dragon, which Sukuna fends off easily and holds Eno back, but it's enough to let our MC creep up and Sukuna is shook as he gets hit with another black flash. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. We're trying to grow this channel, so any little tiny bit really helps. This, of course, enrages Uncle as he starts to really wonder if this brat is going to try to stand on equal ground as the king. The fight continues, and we see Sukuna and Yuji go back and forth, and for the first time since Gojo, Gege is really making Sukuna look like he's been backed up and wiped down. Yuji lands another black flash, but this time Sukuna grabs Yuji's face and does dirty work to it, and now we can definitely see that family resemblance. We continue fighting and Sukuna takes a second to be totally flustered and yells out, you brat, only to be done dirty as Ino sneaked through Nanami's sword, hitting Sukuna in the back of the head, allowing Yuji to hit Sukuna with his eighth consecutive black flash. The chapter ends and the narrator states, Yuji caught up and surpassed the king. This is all insane. The fighting and the revelations coming out of this chapter, Gege is just on another level right now. So Yuji is connected to Sukuna through family souls and has the ability to use shrine. Do you think he'll pull out a domain? I don't know. This chapter was just absolutely insane and I'm exhausted. I do want to take note that the last time we saw Sukuna get so flustered and wiped down, he came back and cut Gojo in half, so I'm really hoping Gege doesn't do that bait and switch on us, but there is a prevailing theory that Yuji is going to die, so I wouldn't doubt it. But either way, it was incredible to see our MC get so much love this chapter. Just so awesome. Let me know what you guys think down below. I gotta go. See you next time. Bye.